Sausages. Sausages. Hello everyone. Uh, welcome back for another little review. It's the end of the day at our flying club. And if I just turn on my ammonita or wind speed meter, whatever you want to call it, we got 6.1 miles an hour. And it looks as though it's coming southeasterly. We've got a bit of shade over the trees. So, right, we've come to be, well, I've come to test out the Eshin. 10 V tail. Uh, as you know, I had some problems with the motor. I've nailed it down to this motor, and it may have been because the propeller bolts were done up too tight, and maybe there's some interference going on there. Um, a little test hover in the garden tells me that, yep, these those uh, interferences with the motor have gone. So uh, hopefully. I uh, also had a little problem with the FPV feed as well. I think I've sorted it out, so we'll uh, have a look at that. Um, after that, we're going to have a look at the Bug 6, which had a couple of problems as well. So, uh, back to this. Um, I'll put the, uh, I'll bind everything up, and I'll talk to you with the GoPro uh, fixed in front of the Viper fx goggles i'd recommend these goggles to anybody they're absolutely brilliant fantastic and if you wear glasses as well entirely suitable for glasses so um, i'll see you in a minute uh, when we've all bound up and we're ready to fly right okay everyone it's uh, ev everything's all bound up i have the dvr on the ecene 2 on 10 that's recording uh, the gopro recording and the uh, Viper FX goggles they're recording as well uh, I've got a good FP feed so uh, off we go Right, I should say to everybody that this is my first FPV with uh, with this quad, so I'm a little bit trepidatious, if that's the word, or nervous, or whatever you want to call it. But so far, it's looking good. You don't need much throttle to uh, to give this height. <laughs> Okay, let's come down a little bit. Well, it's looking... That feed is looking very good. Um, I can't see that I'm getting any dropouts. I won't push it by going too far, just in case. There we go, it looks like that it looks like they're getting a little bit of a drop out there when I turn around. Probably the orientation of the aerial. There's no motor, motor stuttering. Certainly none that I can hear anyway.
quick punch out, I think, while well, we've got a bit of time left. Wow. <laughs> Oh, it's not landing I hope for. Okay, she's down. Oh, and it's in one piece as well. Let's uh <clears throat> Thank you, Loki. Let's just uh we'll go over to where she is. <clears throat> I thought it'd be upside down, but it's not. <laughs> it's in one piece, can you believe it? <laughs> well, I enjoyed that. That was a bit. Uh, <clears throat> this is a bit of a beast for me. So uh, let's just turn the recorder off. Okay, the DVR is off now. That's not recording. So, yes, all in all, uh, <laughs> yes, I'm glad. The motion stuttering has been sorted out, and uh, so uh, yes, it's all looking uh, very positive. All I've got to do now is get more confident with it. Uh, practice it makes uh, perfect, so they say. So if uh, one day I might even be able to use the acro function, but uh, I don't think this is the model for me yet with acro. So uh, there we go. It looks as though all the problems are sorted out now. So uh, thanks for watching. And uh, we'll see you again shortly. I'll download the video from the DVR, uh, some footage from the GoPro, and the Viper FX goggles um, make a compilation of this uh, little review. So thanks for watching again. Cheerio.